The sun dipped low on the horizon, casting a golden hue across the whispering woods as Alara and her friends made their way to the clearing where they would gather their allies. The sense of urgency weighed heavily on them, a reminder of the looming threat posed by the Shadow King and his dark forces. As they approached the clearing, the familiar faces of their friends came into view, rangers, healers, and fellow guardians who had answered Alara's call. Each one looked determined, ready to fight for their home. Alara's heart swelled with gratitude and pride. She was not alone in this battle. Thank you all for coming, Alara said, her voice steady as she addressed the gathering. The Shadow King is rallying dark creatures to invade our lands. We must unite to protect the Whispering Woods and the light of the Celestial Prism. A murmur of concern rippled through the crowd. Lyriel stepped forward, her eyes sparkling with resolve. We've faced darkness before, and we've triumphed together. We can do it again. But we need a plan, Ursa added, crossing his arms. The Shadow King won't attack recklessly. He'll strategize, and we need to be prepared. Kaelin nodded in agreement. Let's divide our forces. Some of us can scout the borders, while others can set up defenses here. We need to know when and where he plans to strike. Alara felt a surge of hope as her friends offered their suggestions. That's a great idea. Let's create teams based on our strengths. We'll need rangers to keep watch, healers to tend to any injuries, and those skilled in magic to bolster our defenses. As the group began to form teams, Alara's eyes scanned the gathering. But amidst the faces of determination, she noticed someone missing, a figure who had been a steadfast ally in their previous battles. Where's Jorin? Alara asked, concern creeping into her voice. He was scouting the eastern edge of the woods, one of the rangers replied. He should have returned by now. Let's not waste any time, Alara urged. We need to find him. If the Shadow King is gathering forces, Jorin might have stumbled upon something important. Kalen spread his wings, ready to take flight. I'll head east and search for him. I'll return as soon as I can. Alara nodded, her heart heavy with worry, but knowing they had to act quickly. Be careful, Kalen. We'll meet back here in an hour to share what we've learned. As Kalen took off into the sky, Alara turned to the gathered allies. Let's prepare while we wait. We can set up defensive barriers and gather supplies. The group sprang into action, their spirits lifted by Alara's leadership. They divided tasks, some gathering branches to fortify their defenses while others prepared healing supplies. Alara felt the energy of unity building among them, a palpable force that filled her with hope. As the hour passed, Alara found herself glancing toward the sky, anticipation mingling with anxiety. She could feel the weight of the responsibility on her shoulders. The safety of the Whispering Woods rested on their shoulders, and she couldn't shake the feeling that time was running out. Finally, a shadow passed overhead, and Kalen descended, landing gracefully in the clearing. His expression was grave, and Alara's heart sank. What did you find? she asked, stepping closer. Kalen took a deep breath, his wings folding against his back. I found Jorin, but he's injured. He spotted a gathering of dark creatures, and they ambushed him. He managed to escape, but not without sustaining wounds. A murmur of concern spread through the crowd. Alara felt a rush of dread, but quickly pushed it aside. Where is he now? He's hiding in a hollow near the eastern edge. We need to get to him before the Shadow King's forces find him, Kalen urged. Let's move, Alara commanded, her voice cutting through the tension. We'll split into teams, some will stay here to prepare defenses, while the rest will come with me to find Jorin. As they set off, Alara led the way, her heart pounding with each step. The forest felt alive around them, the whispers of the trees urging them onward. She could sense the presence of danger lurking nearby, an undercurrent of darkness that sent chills down her spine. When they reached the hollow, Alara peered inside, her heart aching at the sight of Joe Rin lying on the ground, his breathing shallow and labored. His clothes were torn, and dark bruises marred his skin. Joe Rin, she called, rushing to his side. What happened? He looked up at her, a weak smile crossing his lips. Alara, I'm glad you came. I couldn't let them capture me. They're planning an attack. Rest now. We'll get you out of here 
Elera reassured him. She motioned for one of the healers to step forward. We need to tend to his wounds. As the healer knelt beside Jorin, Alara felt a swell of determination within her. We have to warn the others. The Shadow King's forces are on the move. Not just that, Jorin murmured, his voice barely a whisper. I overheard them discussing a dark ritual, something that could amplify the Shadow King's powers. If they succeed, it will be catastrophic. Alara's heart raced. We have to stop them before they complete the ritual. Where are they gathering? Near the old ruins to the north. They'll begin at dusk, Jorin replied, pain evident in his voice. You must hurry. We will, Elara said firmly, feeling the weight of the world on her shoulders. You'll be safe here. We'll return for you once we've dealt with the threat. With a nod from the healer, Elara rose, rallying her friends. We have to move fast. We can't let the Shadow King's forces complete their dark ritual. Kaelin, Lyriel, gather our strongest allies. We're going to the ruins. As they made their way through the woods, adrenaline coursing through her veins, Alara felt a renewed sense of purpose. The path ahead was fraught with danger, but she could feel the strength of her friends beside her. Remember what we've learned, she urged them. Our bond is our greatest weapon. Together, we can face whatever darkness awaits us. As they approached the ruins, the sky darkened, shadows stretching ominously across the ground. The air crackled with dark energy, and Alara's heart pounded with both fear and resolve. Stay alert, she whispered, feeling the weight of the moment pressing down on her. They were entering the lion's den, but together, they would forge their own path. With the whispering woods behind them and the darkness ahead, Alara knew they were ready to confront the Shadow King's forces. The Forge of Unity had been kindled, and they would stand together against whatever shadows threatened to consume them.